Hello, this is Grant McNary with Bushel in a Basket. Today I want to show you how to take care of and uh, do transplants for raspberries. So we started to uh, weed out our garden today, our, our raspberries here. And what I want to show you right here is down here is a cane. This cane will grow this year, but will only produce berries next year. The canes next to it, these ones right here, our canes that grew last year, they will produce berries. And as you can see, we're actually starting to get flowers on our raspberries. So we're gonna leave that one alone. It'll grow up through the wire and we'll leave it alone. Next year, we'll tie them off just like we did this one. Now, if you'll see here, we've got canes out here growing out in the rows. What happens is the roots expand, travel, and when they start to grow other plants, this would be another plant we could use for transplanting. So if you have any friends that want to grow raspberries, this would be a great way to give them new plants to start. And down here, we're going to clean this section out. This was really grown in really bad from last year. We didn't have much time last year, so unfortunately we had to clean it out really good. But you can see right here, we've got two spots that don't have raspberries, so we're going to go ahead and plant those, and we're going to show you how to do that. Grab my shovel here. Okay, we have one right here as we were cleaning. You can see, here's the rut. And what happens, these little shoots shoot straight up, and we actually got two more canes coming on the side of it. So I'm just going to go ahead, plant it about four inches down. Okay, we want them about a foot apart, 12 inches, 14 inches. I'm going to leave that one like that. Plant that up. So we've got a good start for a plant right there. I'm going to dig a hole right here. I've got to be careful that root is in the way there a little bit. This is where we're going to put our next one. Some of these roots. Yeah, I thought I'd just go ahead since this one was growing pretty good right here. I'd go ahead and grab this one. It's too far away from my wire to grow up inside, so I'm going to have to take it out anyways, one way or another. So I'll use it as a plant start. In this case, try to keep the root ball intact as much as possible. And actually, you can see there's two of them here. I'm going to leave both those there because they'll both grow up to be nice canes for next year. And I'll have some more berries. I'll clean all the excess roots that don't need to be in there. Pack down the soil around the roots real good. As you can see, we've got really good soil. One thing when you're growing raspberries, you need to make sure that uh, you're growing them in a place where there's a lot of drainage. This is good sandy loam soil, and a raspberries like acidity soil. So um, you might want to make sure that you give it some kind of uh, feed that uh, uh, would help that grow as far as flowers are concerned. That'll make your, straw or your uh, raspberries uh, get more berries. And that's all there is. This is Grant McNair with Bush and Basket. You have a good day.